Richard. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Let's go have a quick, uh, quick vote of them. Can you see me? For, can you all see me here? So I want to keep it brief, guys, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I will start by saying I want my country back. Over the last year or so, I've had to do a lot of soul searching on my political journey. And it was laughing. And I don't expect much in politics other than to be able to speak my mind and speak on behalf is that you, Harry, laughing? Speak on behalf of my friends, family, and my constituents. Now, I might not know a lot of these long words some of the people use in Parliament, but I know a few short ones. Uh, but unfortunately, this sometimes leads me to be labelled as controversial, controversial in my opinions. But my opinions are not controversial. They are opinions which are shared by millions of people up and down the country. It's not controversial to be concerned about illegal immigration. It's not controversial to be concerned about legal migration. It's not controversial to be, you know, worried, concerned about the Metropolitan Police and a failing London Mayor and the hate marchers, the street crime and the shoplifters literally getting away with ruining businesses on a daily basis. It's not controversial to fight back in a culture war, a culture war that is sweeping our nation. I am proud of our great country and the gifts it has given to the world over hundreds of years. Gifts like the Industrial Revolution, railways, culture, sports, medicine, such as vaccines, which have saved hundreds of millions of lives. And we defeated fascism in two world wars. We have always punched above our weight on the international stage. But now, like millions of people in this country, I feel that we are slowly giving our country away. We are giving away our way of life. We are allowing people to erase our history. We are giving up our streets to a minority of people who literally hate our way of life. We are allowing people into our country that will never integrate and adopt our British values. Parliament doesn't seem to understand what many British people want. And quite frankly, some of them need to get out more. I made some remarks a few weeks back about the London Mayor, for which I was stripped of the whip in the, from the Conservative Party. And let me be clear, right now, on this stage, I will not apologise. It is no secret that I've been talking to my friends in Reform for a while, and Reform UK has offered me the chance to speak out in Parliament on behalf of millions of people up and down the country who feel that they're not being listened to. People will say that I've took a gamble, and I'm prepared to gamble on myself as I know from my mailbag how many people in this country support Reform UK on what they have to say. And like millions of people up and down the country, all I want is my country back. Now this may sound offensive to the Liberal elite, but it's not offensive to my friends, my family, my constituents and some of my donors. Constituents like my mum and dad, who told me they could not vote for me unless I joined Reform UK. My parents are both nearly 80 and they get it, and I must not let them down. As I said at the beginning, I want my country back. Thank you. In the interim. Well, there's not been a turning point. I mean, we all know that sometimes politicians, Amy, are about as trustworthy as journalists um, with what they say and do. Um, but it's been, a, it's, it's been a gradual journey, and I think there's been several tipping points over the, the past few months. I, like I said in my speech, I've had to do a lot of soul-searching about you know, where I am, what I'm, what I'm doing. And when I find myself suspended, having the whip suspended for speaking my mind, and by the way, speaking up on behalf of millions of people up and down the country who agree with me, it's, it's, it's a shocker, if, if I'm honest. I cannot be a part of a, an organisation which stifles free speech. And many of my colleagues in that place, in the Conservative Party, do back me on this privately. Obviously, they won't put their head above the parapet. I don't expect them to. But more importantly, people around the country and around the world have been messaging me, sending me emails saying, stick to your guns, Lee, we agree with you. Isn't it about time somebody spoke out for us rather than bearing to that lot over there? 